Matthews is going to be played in standard tuning, uh, and the chord progression is basically going to be moving from a suspended F to an F major to an F minor to a C major in a couple of different ways during the intro and the verse of the song. The intro is going to begin with your second finger on the five string eight fret. Your ring finger needs to be on the four string eight fret. Your first finger needs to be on the three string seven fret. So basically what we've got so far is an E major shape just raised up to begin on the eighth fret of the guitar. And then your pinky finger needs to be down on the second string, also eighth fret. We're going to be palm mute strumming, where we take uh, the flat of our palm and just gently lay it right across the saddle of the guitar so that the strings aren't really super ringy, they're more muted. Um, and we will be strumming across this chord. The strumming pattern here is kind of a quick, um, and, and it doesn't necessarily keep steady the entire time, but I would just play it as 16th notes. Uh, uh, a down up 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 like that and you can hear accents happening on like one two three four one two three four boom Um, one last thing about the rhythm before, and I know I've just shown you one chord, but another, another thing about the rhythm here that Dave Matthews will sometimes do is he'll break from that more uh, kind of quick frantic strum and he'll just pulse like as opposed to uh, like down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, that sort of feel. As opposed to just down, up, down, up, down, up. So those are some rhythm ideas for you. Okay, so this first chord. This was our suspended version of an F major. We're going to move from this chord to an actual F major. Um, our pinky finger will remain where it's been on the two string eight fret. And then we're going to restructure our ring second and first fingers. Our ring finger is going to come to the five string eight fret. Our second finger will come to the four string seven fret. And our first finger has to stretch down to get the three string five fret. So you've got that. The next chord is going to become the F minor. For this, our ring, pinky, and first fingers will stay where they are, and our second finger will go one fret lower to the uh, to the fourth string, sixth fret. So you've got the F suspended to the F to the F minor, and then it's going to finish on a C chord. The way that uh, this C chord gets played is first finger on the five string, three fret, and then pinky finger barring the fifth fret of strings four, three, and two. And on all of these chords, you just want to be strumming across the strings that you have fretted, which will be strings five, four, three, and two for each chord. Uh, and that's going to repeat as the intro several times. But whenever we get into the verse, the chord progression, uh, or the shapes change. The progression remains the same, but the way that the shapes get played in the verse is your suspended F chord is going to get played with your ring finger on the four string three fret, your pinky finger on the three string three fret, and your first finger on the two string one fret. So you, you'll strum over those chords, uh, just strings four, three, and two. Then your F is going to be ring and first finger remaining where they were, and second finger now going down on the three string two fret. Then your F minor will be ring finger remaining where it was on the four string three fret, and your first finger barring the first fret of strings three and two. So there's your F minor. 
and then the last chord, the C chord, will just be a traditional C major. Ring finger on the five string three fret, second finger on the four string two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string. Starting from the five string, um, you know, basically just down to the two string, but if your open one sneaks in there, not a huge deal. Uh, so that's going to function as the, oh, what is that, the verse. And similar, similarly, sometimes Dave Matthews will move from uh, from a more up and down strum to more of a pulsed strum. And then just go right back into the more fluid up and down strum. When we get to the chorus, the first chord of the chorus is going to be um, your first finger on the sixth string three fret, your ring finger on the four string five fret, and your pinky finger on the three string five fret, with your first finger muting out the five string. So this is kind of like a C over G chord, but this is the first chord of it. Down, up, down, down is going to become the strumming feel for a lot of this chorus. So that gets played for one beat, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, and then we're going to move to an F chord, first finger, and it's going to be just an octave chord, first finger on the uh, six string one fret, pinky finger on the four string three fret, first finger muting out the five string, and you uh, down on the six string, up on the four string, and uh, up again on the four string immediately go back to the sixth string for like a down down or I go back to the sixth string for one down and then the next down is going to be on the fourth string like that uh, then you're going to go to a traditional D minor that's an open four string second finger on the three string two fret uh, pinky finger on the two string three fret first finger on the one string one fret and then to the C chord. Sometimes in the C chord, Dave Matthews will put his pinky finger down on the four string three fret and then lift it back up before going uh, or before moving to the next chord. So we're now in the second round of the chorus. From this point, um, or in the second round of the chorus, like second round through, I don't know, four or five round, it's not going to do this C over G thing that we played. It's going to just play a G octave. That will be first finger on six string, three fret, pinky finger on four string, five fret. And it's going to follow that same strumming pattern from the F chord. So G, now down to the F octave still up now to the D minor, same D minor as before, C major, G octave to the F octave, to the D minor, to the C, uh, and then like for the last few rounds of the course, the G changes from a G octave to a G minor, which it's really been a G minor the whole time, but it gets more uh, overtly phrased for the last few times. That's going to be ring finger on the sixth string, three fret, first finger on the five string, one fret, open, uh, open four string, which really that four string kind of gets muted out, and then pinky finger on the three string, three fret. Same strumming pattern feel to the F chord. Now it's going to be just a more full F bar chord, first finger on the six string, three fret, uh, ring finger on the five string, I'm sorry, first finger on the six string, one fret, ring finger on the five string, three fret, pinky finger on the four string, three fret, second finger on the three string, two fret, to the D minor, to the C chord, repeat, G minor, F, D to the C, and then it goes from that C, runs back up to our intro suspended F, down to the F major, to the F minor, to the C chord. Um, and then just continues in round fashion from there uh, for the rest of the song. So those are the chords and the movements to Virginia in the Rain by Dave Matthews. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.